we're going to be doing cash envelope stuffing. So this month, this is my last cash envelope stuffing for March. This is going to be a little different just because y'all guys know we got hit with the coronavirus little situation. And it just threw us for a loop. So a lot of envelopes won't be getting stuffed. So the only envelopes, uh, envelopes we're going to actually stuff today are my keys care the gas and the groceries we won't be stuffing household because we got everything for household this month um so we'll start over on household in april we won't be doing fun money this for the end of the march because we're on quarantine anyway um we won't be doing kids fun because they're okay for right now and we're not going to stuff this envelope till april anyway so these typically get the fun money the household and the kids typically get stuffed at the beginning of the months so there's need, don't, no need to do this another change that you're going to see in this video is because i still have a balance of 200 dollars in my keys care i am not going to y'all know i do a hundred dollars every two weeks i'm not going to be doing a full hundred for um this cash envelope stuffing i'm only going to do half of that just because i made a decision that if i always if i keep a two hundred dollars or more in my keys care then whatever i had planned to put in there is going to go get split three ways it's going to get split in my high yield savings, my retirement fund, and my rainy day fund. So I'll split that extra money three different ways. So we're only going to do half of that for Keys Care. So let's get into this envelope stuffing because I don't want this video to be very long. And we'll get into a lot of the other budgeting information and budgeting things that I have going on. So we'll after this, you will not see my face in this video again because we're going to focus on the table okay oh she's shaking the table all right y'all stay tuned okay guys real quick what we have here is a hundred and forty dollars so i thought i had a pen out so let me dig in my purse and pull one out child because clearly she's not prepared and that's not a good look honey because you're supposed to stay ready so you ain't got to get ready. All right. Normally I have a black pen, but today we're working with a blue one. So we're going to open this up. You guys know this is my um, budgeter. I have two budgeters. I actually have one that I keep in my planner bag. And I have one that I keep on me in my purse. Just because it also holds my driver's license and all that jazz and credit cards and stuff like that. So... I'm going to skip over the planner. This is my budget for the rest of us. Now, we're going into cash envelopes. So, for my cash envelope for Keys Care, I am going to... Today is the 27th. Please don't come for my handwriting. I am not the best person in handwriting, but hey, I understand it. Hopefully, you can too. And this will be a deposit... of I think I'm going to do $50 but I might have to go into I might have to do something different I might have to get change out of my keys care let's see so I'm going to take out $20 bill $20 out of here so that's 5, 10, 15, 20 and we're going to take 20 out of there and we'll replace this 20. So I just made change. I had to make change because I didn't have any 10s, 1s, or anything over here. So I needed to break this money down. So I took from the keys care and just made change. So I'm going to take two 20s and two 5s from here. And I'm going to put $50 in. Normally, I would normally put $100 in. But... I still have $224 in Keys Care, so I don't want to put the whole 100 in. I decided to go ahead and put it in my savings 
um, split it up in all three of my savings instead. And I know that's not a lot of lot to people, but sixteen dollars once you split it up, and if you eventually keep splitting splitting it up, will add up. Then that's not even including the money that I put in my savings account separately. So yeah, that was just my decision because I feel like if I keep two hundred dollars in Keys Care at all times, as long as I stay up with for two hundred dollars, then I don't need to add anything but maybe fifty dollars more. Um, and if I get, I've decided if I go to five hundred dollars in here alone from putting fifty dollars in here or whatever, then I'll definitely split this up and split it into all three of my checking accounts. Um, if I get under 200, then I'll probably just add what needs to be added in order to make this back $200. But yeah, um, any, anything over $500 will get split up, divided by two. And then once it's divided by two, it will get split up into threes to go into my three savings accounts. So yes, let's count what we have in here. No, let's go ahead and put what we're going to put in these cash envelopes first. So, we've taken care of Keys Care. The next one is groceries. And we're going to put 50 in two groceries. Now, we used all the grocery money last month. So, we did not have anything left over. So, we're going to sit $50 into the grocery fund. And then we have... For, oh, this eating out is not supposed to be here. So then we have $40 left over for gas. So I'm going to put this $40 in here. And that brings us back up to the $46. And the only reason I put $40 in here versus the $46 that I would normally put in here is because gas is extremely low. So normally it would take $22, $23 to fill up my car. But because of the gas being low, it's only been taking like $19, $20 to fill up my car. Hence why I only put $40 in here. So, starting with Keys Care. So far for Keys Care, let's count this up. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. That's 100, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, that's 200, 2, 4, 45, 50, 55, 60, and then 65, 70, and then 71, 72, 73. So we have $273 for Keys Care. So let's put that in there. So that was a deposit of fifty dollars. So that's two seventy three as the balance. And yes, I made these myself. Okay, so household, we're not doing household this month. We're not doing fun money this month. Gas. Okay, here we go. Gas. 327 no need to count because we just it wasn't anything in there to begin with but we deposited 40 bucks oh yes it is 40 bucks so now we have 46 dollars and some change actually so this is going in the piggy bank any change i have left over during the week i put in my piggy bank so that's where that's going so we have 20, 40, 45, 46 for gas. So we're going to put that there. So, see, I can't even see that. So deposit 40, the balance is 46. Okay, what else we got? Oh, groceries. So 327, this is the one we don't need to count because y'all know it wasn't nothing in there. So deposit 50, the balance is 50. So um, we didn't put anything in the other cash envelopes. Um, I don't know when we'll be adding to those again, but the kids, let's count the kids money. This is the kids funds. And let's see if they still have $93 because I, I haven't went in it. But I think they're gonna use some of it tomorrow because they want to get 
rechargeable uh, chargers for the game systems. I like my money in order. Hold on. So we got two, four, six, seventy. 75, 80, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92, 93. So that's still $93 in the kids fund. So, and this is not including their allowance. This is just money they can have on hand, for example, for like they want to go get rechargeable batteries for their, um, Game systems, their allowance is totally theirs to do what they want to do with it, but the kids fund is for little stuff like that. So yeah, they're still at $93. Um, so yeah, that is the end of our cash envelopes. And I was supposed to take out $196, but we canceled that and just went with $140 because like I told you, the other bit of money I opted to split into my three savings accounts. So that is what I did. So yeah. That is this month's cash envelope system. We'll definitely be back at the beginning of April to start April's cash envelopes. So I am about to get out of here. Remember, if nobody told you you're beautiful, remember Simply Key will always tell you you're beautiful because you simply are. And I will see you guys in the next video. Happy budgeting. Bye. Budget for February, our goals for February, um, what I plan on doing different for February. So this is our February um, 